What is going on, everybody? Welcome to another live LSPFR install tutorial. Today, we're going to be doing some open IV modifications. Hope you guys enjoy the stream. Uh, just keep in mind, I, I have not felt good all day. We're going to kick the intro here in just a couple of minutes. What is going on everybody? Welcome to another LSPFR live install tutorial. How's everyone doing? Good to see everybody up in the chat. Uh, I do apologize guys. Um, I have I've not felt good at all today. I've been kind of sick. Uh, so just bear with me. We're going to be installing all of our open IV modifications tonight. Everything that includes open IV will be installed tonight. Um, our realistic uh, looking weapons, our gun sounds, um, our Taser, our, our realistic looking taser, our um, our radiance for our police cars, um, improved engine sounds, got a nice police car pack we're going to be putting in, EUP, uh, menu, law and order, serve and rescue, kid fly ID replacement, the euphoria ragdoll, and uh, improvement, uh, improvement, what is it, improvement in gore, improvements in gore. So we're going to have a lot of fun tonight. Welcome everybody to the live stream. Good to see you guys here. To all of my members up in the chat. Appreciate you guys being here. How's everyone doing? Matthew Coleman up in the house. Ben the Gamer, what is going on, man? Good to see you, dude. FD Taco, you are new. Welcome to the live stream, man. Good to have you. Good to have you here. Chris Horseman coming through. Flexing that five-month membership to Team Justice 2. Yo, what's up, everyone? Chris, thank you so much for your long-time love and support, man. I appreciate that. Um... Matt is up in the house. What up, Matt? Right there, RNR81 Gaming is Chef Matt. What's going on, Matt? How you doing, ma'am? Oh, are you Officer Taco? Are you? Okay. <laughs> then you're not new here. <laughs> Appreciate you being here, man. Appreciate you being here. Um, I know I seen Amanda Cole. There she is. What's up, Amanda? How you doing? Good to see you, Amanda. Speedy's also in the house. What's up, Speedy? How you doing, man? Uh, Matthew Coleman stopping by as well. Appreciate you, Matthew. Um, Michael Sheets, you are new. Welcome to the live stream, man. Good to have you. Michael Sheets up in the house. Let me get a little closer to my... Get situated here. There we go. Um, this pop filter really gets in my way. Uh, let's see. Um, was fine. Did I see Firefighter Steve? Uh, Ender Lollipop Guy, what is going on? You are a new welcome to the man. Good to have you. Good to have you. Um, I thought I seen AT Vex. What is going on? You're also new welcome to the stream. I thought I seen Firefighter Steve. Did I not see Firefighter Steve? I thought I seen his name. I thought I seen Firefighter Steve. Okay, maybe I'm just seeing things. Can't wait to get rid of the kid flum. Hey, what's up, Dalton Mitchell's up in the house. Dalton Mitchell up in here. Get over here. What's up, Dalton? How you doing, man? All right, guys, let's go ahead and switch the scenes over. Let's get our camera on and our tip glass. Oh, so we're going to be starting with, let me minimize this real quick. So these are the open IV modifications we're going to be installing tonight. There's a certain specific order that I do them in. Um, guys, just follow along. Everything that I've got here is provided in the description. If we come to something and it's not provided there, please let me know. And I will grab the link for you and maybe throw it in the comments or something. But I'm pretty sure everything's provided. With that said, ladies and gentlemen, let's get on with this tutorial. Um, after this part of the tutorial, we'll be going into doing our callouts. And then we'll be doing graphic mods for the very last part. Because graphic mods is the last thing, the absolute last thing you want to put in your game. And I'll explain to you why before we put those in. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and... 
click the link in the description. It's going to bring you to this right here. This is going to be for the Max Payne Glock 3, the Max Payne Glock 3, guys. Uh, this is the gun you see me use a lot in my LSP farm. What you want to do is click download right here. And put these somewhere where you know how to get to them, guys. I recommend your desktop or put them in a folder where you can save them for later. Um, and this is going to be our Remington 870 shotgun. Uh, these are all realistic looking weapons. It's going to make your game way more immersive when you put these in your game. Uh, you want to click download here. Next up is going to be our Bushmaster AR-15 Patrolman's Rifle. And this is the gun you guys see me use a lot in my streams as well. Excuse me. So click download here. Moving on to the next one is going to be our Taser X26. Now, this one's been around for a very long time. Um, it, it it was last updated 2017, guys, but I can assure you this mod still works. I would not I would not present mods to you that, that would mess up your game or anything like that. Um, so download this right here, guys. Click download the file, and you want the one that says 110 right there. Taser X26, 110. This is done by Buford T. Next up is going to be our Police Baton. Uh, this is the realistic police baton you guys see me use in the game. This is done by Double Doppler. Um, Double Doppler did this one, guys. Click download the file here. It's going to start downloading. Next up is going to be our... Oh, did I have baton twice? Sorry about that, guys. I did not mean to put in baton twice. Let me check something real fast. Let me make sure I didn't mess this up. Um... Let's see, police baton, Dordo's ready to fire. Okay, I think we got it. All right, so let me close out of this. So Dordo's ready to fire is the next one. Um, I don't know why I had that there twice. It's weird. You want to click download the, fire, the, the file here. Now, what this is going to do is going to allow you to shoot your gun faster. So opposed to the vanilla style of shooting your pistol, it's going to speed up the, the fire of your gun real fast, like the rate of your fire. So click download here. Next up is going to be Guns Really Clapping. Um, this is done by, I don't know if it says the, who the creator is on this page. Um, but this is, I've been using this gun sound for a very, very long time. Um, this is done by G Folks. Right there it is. So what you want to do, guys, is you want to scroll down in here. And you want to click right here where it says Guns Really Clapping 100, however you say that. You want to click that. It's going to start downloading right here. I'm going to go ahead and close out of it because I don't need it. Um, Radiance V, this is done by BX Bugs. <clears throat> this is going to make our police lights very bright um, and make them more realistic. So you want to click download the file here. And you, you do want the 2.1, the 2.1 version. That's the one you want. Click download here. Next up is going to be Better Radiance. This is done by Matthew Skeed, um, who I've not heard of heard from in a long time. Uh, now, the reason we're using Better Radiance is because once we install Radiance V, we're going to have to have something to fix our bus lights and our taxi toppers um, because they become extremely bright. So this has got fixed files for us to fix those uh, taxi toppers and stuff. So you want to click download the file here. Then move on to the next one. It's going to be improved engine sounds. Now, what this does is it adds a realistic V8 sound to your stuff like your Crown Vicks and your Dodge Chargers. So if you're driving anything that has a V8 in it, this engine mod is going to work for that vehicle, okay? Uh, this is done by Liberty Designs. This mod was actually introduced to me when I first started LSPFR. Uh, it was introduced to me by my, um, my very first assistant director of the Discord. Uh, so you want to click download the file here. It's going to start downloading. Next up is going to be our Los Santos Police Department pack. Now, if you guys want to take a good look at this pack, it's a really nice pack. This is the second pack that that I was that Benzo ever showed me how to put into my game. Uh, I remember when Benzo did a troll in this pack right here. It's a very nice pack. It comes with three cars: um, a Dodge Charger, a Crown Vic, and a um, the FPIU. Um, and it's a very nice pack. So what you want to do is click download the file here. It's a very easy install. Go on to the next one, guys. Emergency Uniforms Pack, Law & Order. I've had a lot of people ask me about EUP. 7-7 um, seven, seven Brody, what's going on, man? Good to have you, man. Um, good to have I think I want, I want to say you've been here before. Anyway, man, I think you're new. Welcome to the live stream. Hey, what's up, Flying Horse? Hey, it's good to be back, man. I was just telling everybody I'm not, I'm not feeling my best today. I've been pretty sick all day, so 
Uh, I don't know what is going around, but it's something has got me. But, man, I, I was puking this morning, man. It was bad. It was bad. Like, it was really bad. Comical Gamer, what's going on, dude? Good to see you, man. Thank you, Flying Horse. I, I'll, let the, I'll let the Discord team that, know that you said so, man. I appreciate that. What's going on, Comical Gamer? How you doing, man? All right, guys. So, EUP Law & Order. Um, has this been updated? Okay. I have the latest version. So, click download the file here. And you do not want the LML. You don't want the LML. You want the OIV. The EUP OIV. That's the one you want. Click download here. And it will download in the form of an OIV file. So it'll look like a little white folder. Like a little white file, okay? Uh, moving on, the next one is going to be our EUP menu. All right, this is done by Peter Good and Alex Ashford. Uh, click download the file here, guys. Agree and download. It's going to start downloading. Up next, we got a few more left, guys. Up next is going to be emergency uniforms pack, serve and rescue. Now, do you have to have this? No, you don't. You don't have to have serve and rescue. You do have to have law and order, and you do have to have the menu, the EUP menu. But you do not have to install serve and rescue if you do not want to. However, I recommend that you do because it comes with, you know, firefighter outfits, um, EMS outfits, patient outfits, um, there's so much lifeguard outfits. There's so much room for role play with serve and rescue. There's so much room for it. Uh, so if you want to, guys, go ahead and click download the file here, and you want the one that says 1.5.oiv, not the LML, but the OIV. That's the one you want. Click download here. Next one up is going to be our German Shepherd. Remember, guys, in the last tutorial, I told you guys I'm going to show you how to replace that German Shepherd in your ultimate backup. That's what this mod is for. I'm going to show you guys how, yes, military outfits too, as well, been the gamer as well. Um, German Shepherd, this is going to be our K9 that's going to be replacing the Rottweiler in the game, okay? Or the Shepherd, I believe, uh, the Rottweiler or something like that. Maybe it's the Shepherd. Um, but what you want to do is click download the file here, and you want the 101. You want this one right here. This is 101.zip. Click download here. After that, we're going to download the Kiflom ID replacement. So for those who know how annoying it is when you ask for ID in the game, and you just says Kiflom, Kiflom, this replaces that and allows your character to actually say, hey, can I have some ID? Yo, you, you got your ID on your something of that nature. They'll say anything but Kiflom. So you want to click download the file here, agree and download. It's going to start downloading. And next up is going to be Bass Dragons Euphoria Ragdoll Overhaul. Now, I think this is a very important mod to have. If you like the realism in uh, when you shoot somebody and they, they, they have like a realistic fall, that's what this does. And I'll show you how it all works on the game because we are going to do an in-game showcase. Um, click download the file here. And then next up and last, but certainly not least, is going to be Improvements in Gore. This is a must-have mod in my opinion. Uh, it adds a lot of realism to the game, especially when you're in a shootout. Um, it, it just adds a lot of realism. So you want to click download here, huh? Click download here, guys, and that's going to be everything. Get it all downloaded. Get it back in your desktop. And we need to open up our main game directory. Okay? One sec, guys. All right, guys, so you're going to need your main game directory and then just minimize it. And then you're going to need OpenIV. So you should already have it installed. If you don't have it installed, there's a link in my description that takes you to my tutorial that shows you how to install OpenIV, okay? So click on your OpenIV and you want Windows for Grand Theft Auto 5. Windows, guys. All right, Officer Taco, we'll see you shortly, man. I'm on call for heavy rescue and we are getting requested by. Oh, okay, I got you, man. I got you, dude. Well, be safe out there, my man. Be safe out there. You're only here for the kid flower placement, Amanda. Are you? Hey, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Um, I do want to let everybody know that I did get word back from SLRP. And I got I got Leo, guys. But I'm I'm starting as a community service officer. Give me one second.
All right, guys, sorry about that. Uh, so what we're going to do is you want to open up your OpenIV and make sure, first and foremost, you are in edit mode, okay? Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to install all of our OpenIV or all of our OIV files. That's the first thing we're going to do. So let's minimize our OpenIV. You make sure you're in edit mode. And let's start by opening up, open up our Glock WinRAR and grab the Glock.OIV and pull it to your desktop like that, okay? You can now close out of this and get rid of that shortcut, all right? And then what else has an OIV file? Open up your guns really clapping. Double click on the folder. Grab the GRC100.OIV and pull it to your desktop and drop it, okay? And then, yeah, you can get rid of that shortcut too. Oh, did they? <laughs> Livery made. It's a WIP still, but configured. I give you a link to it. Um, send it to me through Discord DMs, Comical Gamer, and I'll I'll check it out, man. All right. So next up, we're gonna be. You want to grab the, your your EUP file should look like this. So grab your Law and Order, put it over here. Grab your Serve and Rescue and put it over here. That's how they should have came downloaded. Okay. Uh, open up your Kiflam replacement WinRAR. Grab the Kiflam replacement OIV file, pull it to your desktop, and drop it just like that, okay? And then you can then get rid of that shortcut. Um, I believe... Let's open up the one that says... I think these are the last two. Let's open up the one that says the... Um, it says 217, and that's our that's our Euphoria Ragdoll. Open that up, double-click on the folder. Grab the BDERO... 217 OIV, pull it to your desktop and drop it, okay? This is the easiest way to do that. You can get rid of that shortcut once you're done. And then open up your improvements in Gore. Double click on the folder. And then grab the improvements in Gore.OIV, pull it to your desktop and drop it. Just like so. And then you can now get rid of that. And let me double check here to make sure nothing else has an OIV file. I don't believe it does. All right, I think that's it. So here's what we want to do. We want to open up our OpenIV again and make sure that your edit mode is on and you want to go into where these three little dots are. This is open package star and click that. We're going to start installing these one by one. Once you got your file explorer open, Go ahead and click on, um, you want to scroll up and click on desktop. And we want to find the Glock.OIV, which is right here, and then double click it. You want to click on install. Mods folder, always select your mods folder. And then confirm installation. So we're going to, we're going to, um, Uh, advertisement miss. I've been I've, I've been having a lot of people tell me about that man. About advertisement midstream. I've been having a few people ask me about that. I don't know. I honestly have no idea. To be honest about it, Officer Taco, I honestly have no idea, man. It's it's probably something on YouTube's end, definitely. All right, guys. Once you get installation succeeded, go ahead and click close, and then grab your Glock dot OIV on your desktop and throw it in your recycle bin. Again, in your OpenIV, go back to those three dots, click on it, and then click on desktop, and we want to find the GRC100, which is our gun sounds. Double-click that. Click install, mods folder, and confirm installation. Now, this gets all the um, OIV files out of the way, and we don't have to do them like, you know, install this mod, then go back and install this one. We get these knocked out and get them out of the way, then we can get the other stuff installed. And then close out of this. Grab the OIV on your desktop. This is GRC 100 and throw it in your recycle bin. Go back to those three little dots inside your open IV. Click them. Click on desktop. And this time we're looking for the LO, the EUP LO 8.3s, which is going to be right here. Double click it. This is our EUP. Install. Mods folder. Confirm installation. You work for the fire department, uh, Officer Taco? You work for the fire department? 
Are you volunteer or you full time? I appreciate you, Matthew. I appreciate you, man. You going to order your t-shirt, man? Is that what you're going to order? Do you, man? Thank you for your service, Officer Taco. I appreciate you, man. We really appreciate folks like you. You're a full-time firefighter? Nice, man. Nice, dude. Well, thank you for your service, brother. It means a lot. It really means a lot. All right, guys. Click close here. And then, of course, get rid of that OIV right there. And the next one we're going to find is the serve and rescue. So, again, click those three dots. Desktop. And EUPSR1.5.OIV, double click it. And then install mods folder, confirm installation. Never select your game folder. If you select the game folder, man, you're going to mess it all up. You're going you're gonna to mess it up. It's going to just demolish your game. Because <clears throat> the game folder is like your GT5.exe. You're installing it there, so they would just mess everything up. Once you get that, guys, click close. And again, grab the OIV on your desktop. Just make sure you get rid of the right ones, okay? Like this one is EUP SNR. Throw that in your recycle bin. Let me go ahead and move these up. Next one's going to be the Kiflom. Uh, click those three dots inside Open IV. Click Desktop. And we want to double click on the Kiflom replacement ID request. Double click that. Again, click Install, Mods Folder, and Confirm Installation. Oh, is somebody trying to break into the station? Why would people even attempt to do something like that? Like, the the intel, like the intelligence of people these days just amazes me. Or their lack of. Um, intellect, installation succeeded, guys. Click close. Make sure you get rid of that shortcut on the desktop. And next, we're going to install the better um, Bass Dragons Euphoria Ragdoll. So the B-D-E-R-O is what you're looking for. Click those three dots. Desktop. Double click this one here. Install, Mods Folder, and Confirm Installation. Now, I do recommend that everyone does a restart on their PCs after we're done. Newman Gaming up in the house. What's up, Newman? How you doing, man? What's up, son? What's going on, brother? Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Guys, go ahead and click close here. And then get rid of that shortcut on your desktop. Last one, guys, gonna be Improvements and Gore. Click those three little dots. Desktop. Double click on improvements in gore.oiv. Click on install, mods folder, and confirm installation. And that's it for the OIV files, guys. Now we got the rest of these to install, and we'll be uh, restarting and going into game. This is going to change your game so much, guys, from going to from our, our base mods or our plugins, and now these mods going to change your game. Now, wait till we start installing callouts, and then our graphic mods is going to be so crisp. Uh, go ahead and click close, uh, guys and girls, and get rid of that. Now, let's go ahead and start installing these right here. So, for the first one, our Remington, we're going to open that up, all right? If you get this box, uncheck that and click open. And then double-click on the folder there inside the WinRAR. And these are the three files that we are installing, okay? This is the pathway that we want to go to. First and foremost, make sure that edit mode is on. Hang on, guys. Let me get a drink. <clears throat> All right, guys, so um, in your open IV, edit mode needs to be on. Make sure you go over and click on mods, then update, time 64, DLC packs, and you want to scroll down until you find patch day 8, which is right here. Patch day 8, DLC.RPF, time 64, um, models, CD images, and weapons.RPF. Now, in here, the easiest way to find this gun, okay, is go in your WinRAR and highlight it, and then highlight it again until it's clicking, until it's blinking like that. Right click and click copy. Go to your Open IV uh, search bar right there. Put, a, put your cursor in there and hit left control V. And there is your shotgun. Now, if you grab these files in your WinRAR, you're just going to simply drag them into your Open IV and drop them in, okay? And then your shotgun is in the game. That's it. All right, close out of this. Get rid of that shortcut. Next up is going to be our Bushmaster. 
Uh, again, same thing, guys. Highlight the file, right click, copy. Go to your Open IV search tab, uh, highlight left control V. There's your carbine rifle. Highlight the two carbine rifle files in the WinRAR only, only two. Okay? Pull these into your Open IV and drop them in. All right, we're done. We are done with that. Close out of that. Get rid of that shortcut. And let's pull up our Taser X26. And you can go in your search tab, your open IV, and clear that. But stay in this pathway, guys. Stay in this pathway, okay? So, in our Taser X26, click on the base. And we want to install these. Again, highlight one of these files. And highlight till it's blinking. Right click and click copy. Go to the search tab of open IV. Hit left control V. Right there is your stun gun. Now, if we open up that YDR in our open IV, you're going to see this, okay? And I'm going to show you how it's going to change drastically. All right? Now, if we grab these four files in our WinRAR like that, pull them into our open IV and drop them, and then go back to that OIDR, there's your Taser X26 right there. Now, we're going to change the color of this. We're going to change it to yellow, but I'm going to show you how to change it to whatever color you want. Well, black or yellow, whichever one you want. In your WinRAR, go back and go down to color variants, okay? And we want to do the base first. So we're gonna grab the yellow. Now, no matter if you install the yellow or the black, it's installed the same way. So grab these two yellows, pull them to your desktop and drop them. Then go back in your WinRAR, go to cartridges. Same thing, grab the yellow, highlight them, pull them out. Or if you wanna install the silver or the green, it's all installed the same way. You just drag them out, okay? That's all you have to do. Now you can now close out of this and we can get rid of this shortcut. Now these right here, this is going to color our taser, okay? Now, inside our open IV, inside our open IV, we are going to go into the um, WPI stun gun.ytd. We're going to open that up. And if it does that, just close it and open it again. And we've got to replace this twice, okay? So these two had to be replaced instead of these. So right here, click replace. And let me see which one it is. I think it's the low. I think we want the yellow low for the first and for the YTD. Yes. All right. So you, when you replace that, you're going to click replace and double click on the yellow low. Not this one, but the yellow low. Double click that. Then go down to where it says WX26 cart. This is your cartridge. You click replace and click the cart low, yellow cart low right there. Double click. Click save. All right. You can now take the low files and put them into your recycle bin. These two, you got to replace those as well. Now, this time, we're going to go up to the WPI stun gun plus a, uh, high dot YTD. Double click on that. Click replace. Double click on the yellow right there, the, 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 the base. See how it looks alike? Double click on that. Go down to the WX26 cart. Click replace, click on the cartridge, click save, and now your stun gun is installed. Now I'm going to show you what it looks like. If we go back in our open IV and go to our stun gun.ydr and open it, there's what she looks like. That's what it looks like right there. See how much better it looks? It just looks so much better. So in your open IV, go ahead up to your search tab and clear that. And then we want to, we're going to install the baton next. Um, so open up your baton, double click on the folder, double click on model, and these are going to go into a different patch day, okay? This is where we want to put these. So in your open IV, I'm pretty sure they go into a different patch day. Let me see. Yeah, they do. They do. Okay, so in your open IV, go back to um, DLC packs. Just click on DLC packs. Scroll down, and this time we want patch day three. Okay? Then DLC.RPF, time 64, models, CD images, and weapons.RPF. Now, in here, again, go to your WinRAR, click on that, highlight it, right click, copy. Go to your search tab in your open IV, hit left control V. There's your nightstick. Now, if you click on the YDR, this is what the vanilla, the, the vanilla stick looks like, right? Uh, now we close that and highlight the two files in our WinRAR and pull them into our open IV and drop them. 
and then go back into the YDR, you're going to see a big difference, right? There's the difference in the nightstick. All right, so now that's done. Close out of that. Get rid of that shortcut. Clear the search tab in your Open IV. And then in your Open IV, we want to click File and Close All Archives. All right, and then make sure you scroll back to the top. And then let's now open up our Duardo's Rate of Fire. All right, let's open this up. Now, you want to click on the pistol and combat pistol. That's the two you want, okay? And give me just a second, guys. Because I've got some notes here. I'm pretty sure I know what the pathway is. But the pathway that he gives you is wrong. If you install him into those pathways, you're going to kill your crosshair. Which means when you go in the game, it'll work, but you won't have a crosshair. So let me get my notes pulled up here. Because I know I've got this pathway in my notes. There it is right there. Okay. So for the weapons.meta, for the weapons.meta file right here, this is the pathway you want to take. Make sure your edit mode is on again. Oh, you don't like the, there's, well, there's a way to do your DLC packs. <clears throat> yeah, there's a way to install the DLC packs. Now, if it's just like a DLC.rpf, yeah, you can't install that. But there should be, if you're installing a DLC pack, uh, Lollipop Guy, there should be a folder before that. that sh that's the folder you drop in your DLC packs. What's, what's up, Officer Taco? What is that? What's oh oh my gosh! You guys are pranking. <laughs> you guys are pranking. Oh my god! What a horrible prank. <laughs> That's gonna be funny afterwards, though, man. That's gonna be funny afterwards. <laughs> oh man. They're going to come in code three, man. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Wall P Tech, what is going on, man? What's going on, dude? You're a new welcome last year, man. Good to have you. Oh, you guys do it all the time, do you? That's funny, man. So for your weapons.meta file and your WinRAR, this is the pathway you want to take in your open IV. You want to go to mods and then common.rpf. Now, if you do not have the common.rpf in your open IV right here, Go down here in the side column, click common.rpf, and click copy to mods folder, and it'll be there. After that, you're going to click on data and then AI. Now, in here, you will notice that you have a weapons.meta and a weapons animation.meta, which means both of these files can actually be dropped in here. But if you drop both of them in there, you're going to lose your crosshair, okay? So don't do that. You only want to drop the weapons.meta into this pathway. Pull it in. Drop it right there. See it? Now, the next pathway we want to take is go back to the top of your open IV and click on mods. Click on update, update.rpf, common, data, and AI. In here, you also have a weapons.meta and you also have a weapons animation.meta. In here, you only want to drop the weapons animations dot meta. Pull it in. Did I grab only that one? Yeah, pull it in and drop it. And you're done, guys. That's it. Your rate of fire is now installed. You can close out of that, get rid of that shortcut. Go to file, click close all archives again. I was pretty I was pretty sure of the pathway. I just didn't want to tell you guys wrong and then something happened, you lose your crosshair because I learned that the hard way one time. Now, oh, we didn't install our Radiance OIV, guys. I forgot about that one. So open up your Radiance, and you want the OIV installers file, and we want um, we want the Radiance V install add normal .oiv. Pull that to your desktop like this, okay? Then in your Open IV, click on those three little dots. This is Open Package Installer. Click on that. Click on Desktop, and double click on the Radiance OIV file. All right, click install. Mods folder, always a mods folder, guys, always. And then confirm installation. Now, this is going to make our police lights very bright and beautiful and realistic. Unfortunately, 
it's also going to make our taxi toppers and bus lights and uh, some other lights really bright. So we got to fix that. And we're going to click close and then close out of this. Get rid of that shortcut and drop this into your recycle bin. Come on. All right. Now, better radiance. Okay, let's open up our better radiance WinRAR. I told them to pay just unless it's a real emergency or if they want us to prank them back. We are paying. <laughs> yeah, there's a way to do it, Lollipop, guys. So in your better radiance file, this is how we're going to fix those lights. You're going to double click on the better radiance folder. Double click on the folder again. And you want the... Um, you want to double click on the recommended, all right? And you want the fix files, all right? Then you're going to double click on each one of these folders and grab these PNGs and pull them out. Go back, double click on the bus, pull out the metro bus. Go back, double click on metro train, pull out the metro train. Go back, double click on taxi, grab both taxis and pull them out, all right? Come on, pull, come up here. Now we want to go back. And go back one more time and open up this readme because it's going to tell you how to get to your pathway, right? Let me close that. So this is the pathway we want to take right here. So in our open IV, we want to go to mods. All right, go to mods. And then you want the time64e.rpf. Now, see how we don't have it? Go in your side column and click on time64e.rpf and click copy to mods folder. <clears throat> Have you had a problem with those bright lights, Lollipop guy? See, I did too at first. Like a lot of people, that's one of the main issues people have is finding out how to fix those lights. And there's two ways you can do it, either with this or no more bright taxi light, which I don't, I haven't used for a long time. Now, after that, what does it say to go to, guys? It says to go to levels. So over here in your open IV, go to levels. And then um, GTA 5. Then we want um, the vehicles.rpf. That's the one we want, vehicles.rpf. Now, let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Yeah, let's close the readme. Now, in here, we need to replace each one of these, okay? But there's a trick to a couple of them, all right? So, for example, our Airbus, okay? The easiest way to do this is to go into the search tab of your open IV once you're in this pathway. Your pathway should be mods times 64 e Levels, GT5, and vehicles are RPF. That's where you should be at. In the search tab of your open IV, all right? This is what you want to do. You want to type in bus. I love you too, boo-boo. Huh? You want to get something? And then in here, guys, uh, once you type the bus in, you're going to see Airbus right here, and you're going to see bus.ytd. We're going to need both of those files, okay? Both of those, I believe. So... Uh, click on click on the airbus.ytd I believe it is right here ladies and gentlemen where it says Airbus LED sign see that this one says Airbus LED sign so click replace and you want to click on desktop and double click on the Airbus LED sign it's going to darken it okay then click save now next one is going to be the bus.ytd that's the next one we want okay and we want to go down to Metro Bus LED sign because a lot of people have a hard time finding this, and this is why. So this is your Metro Bus LED sign. So click click on that, and then click Replace, and then double click on Metro Bus LED sign. There you go. Click Save, and then we're going to replace our Metro Train and our Taxi sign. So go back up the Search tab of your Open IV, clear it out, and type in Train. All right. And then double click on the um, metrotrain.ytd. And in here, what do we want to find? We want to find the Metro Train LED sign, right? So that's going to be, did I click on the wrong one? Nope, right here. Metro Train LED sign 128, okay? The one that says Los Santos. Click replace. All right, and then double click on Metro Train LED sign. And then click save. All right, then go back to the search tab, double click that and clear it. All right. All right, hey, Officer Taco, appreciate you, brother. Appreciate you hanging out over here, man. Ghost of You Gaming, what is going on, man? Good to have you, man. You are new, welcome to launch stream. Good to have you, man. Okay, so next up is going to be our two taxi signs. So go back in the search tab of your open IV and type in 
taxi. All right, and then we want to go into the taxi.ytd. And the first one we're going to replace is going to be our taxi detail two, right? Our taxi detail two. Click replace, click on desktop, and then you want to double click on the taxi detail two. All right, and then you want to um, go down to taxi signs two, click replace, click on the taxi signs two, double click, save, and we're done. Clear on your search tab, click file, click close all archives. Minimize your open IV and get rid of all these PNGs right there, just like that. Close out of this, get rid of that shortcut. All right, improved engine sounds. Pull your open IV back up. And you want to go to mods, update, update.rpf, common, data, levels, and GT5. We're going to be using this vehicles.meta file right here, okay? In your WinRAR, double click on the improved engines folder, double click on meta files, and grab that vehicles.meta file, pull it into your open IV like this to your vehicles.meta, and drop it in, all right? And that is our improved engine sounds right there. Um, let's open up our, um, let's open up our EUP menu next. Let's go ahead and install that and minimize your open IV and open up your main game directory and your main game directory. You should, the last part of your directory should say GT five or grant Theft auto five. Okay. In your WinRAR, double click on files and grab the plugins folder only pull it into your main game directory and drop it in. This is for the EUP menu. Close out of that. Get rid of that shortcut, okay? And we're going to install the car pack last. So open up your K9 WinRAR, and you can now um, you can now close you can now close your main game directory. Open up your Open IV, and go back to mods, okay? And then open up this README on your K9 WinRAR, and this is the pathway we want right here, guys. So again, we want to go to mods. We want to go to time 64 E we want models CD images and we want the one that says stream to peds underscore a underscore C dot RPF. Now the easiest way to do this is highlight this part right here. Right click, click copy, go to the search tab, of open IV and hit left control V and that's the one you want. That's the one you're going to have right there. Double click it and then clear your search tab just like that. And here's all your dogs and stuff, your shepherd, your Rottweiler, all that good stuff. So we can close out of the WinRAR. Yo, what's up, AT? How you doing, man? And you want to highlight every file inside your WinRAR and hold down your control key and deselect the readme and credit, okay? You only need the three shepherd files. That's the only ones you need. You're going to grab these. You're going to pull them in your open IV and you're going to drop them in just like so. Now, if we go into our open IV and go to the AC Shepherd file and then double click on say like the head triple zero open that up you're gonna see the canine right there oh that was very detailed that's the canine right there okay now if you click on accessories down here this will show his vest all right so it's installed it's done it is good to go so in your open IV click file click close all archives once again then we need to scroll back up and then close out of this and get rid of that shortcut. Last up is going to be our LSPD pack. Open that up. Double click on the folder. And double click on vehicles. Now the pathway you want to follow, okay? The pathway you want to follow is going to be mods. Update. Time 64. DLC packs. Now I get this question a lot about vehicle packs. Everybody always asks me, should I install on the latest patch day or what patch day do you recommend? I have been using Patch Day 20 for my vehicles for I can't tell you how long since I first started. And I still use Patch Day 20 to this day. So that's what I recommend. Once you get here, scroll down and double click on Patch Day 20. DLC.RPF. Time 64. Uh, levels. GTA 5 and Vehicles.RPF. Okay. Now I highly recommend that you click Favorites. Add to Favorites. And Add. And then the other pathway we're going to go to is you're going to scroll up and go to the ELS folder at the top of your open IV. You're going to click it 
and then click on the pack underscore default. Double click that. Also, click favorites, add to favorites, and add. Now, in your favorites, go back to your favorites and click on the vehicles to RPF. It will bring you back to your vehicle pathway. That way, you never have to scroll through it again. You just click that favorite and you're there. You're already there. Um, do you have a do you have a liquid cooled system, Vex? Is your PC liquid cooled or is it just like a like a regular cooled CPU? Like like the one I have, it's it's liquid cooled. I would love to get a water cooled PC. That would be that'd be awesome. So in here, guys, this is where our vehicle files are gonna go. So in the first vehicle file is gonna be the CVPI eleven. Double click that. Grab all three police files, pull them into your open IV, your vehicle pathway, and drop them in, okay? Go back, open up your charger, same thing, highlight the files, drag and drop them, go back, open up your FPIU, highlight them, drag them, and drop them. Now, let's go back in our WinRAR, go back again, and open up the VFCs, okay? Then in our open IV, go to your favorites, and double click on that pack underscore default in GT5. So now you should be in ELS pack default. Grab all three of these XML files from your WinRAR. Pull them into your OpenIV and drop them. All right, because this, your XML files is going to tell your, your police lights how to behave, how to rotate, how to flash, how to blink, all that good stuff, okay? So now that we got those in, close this, get rid of this shortcut, and then go... To your favorites and go to vehicles.rpf now if you want to see what the vehicles look like go up to the yfts and double click on say like police.yft and this will show you what the vehicle looks like it's a very nice pack i love this vehicle pack uh this was the second vehicle pack that benzo showed me how to install when i first started lsp4 it's a very nice pack so we're going to close that uh same thing with the police too yft right there there's our dodge charger they're very well set up and then uh, police3.yft. This is our FPIU. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Very nice. And then in your open IV, guys, click file and click close all archives. Close out of your open IV. As always, ladies and gentlemen, as always, clean out your recycle bin. It's very important that you do that, okay? It's very important that you do that. Close out of this. Everyone restart your PCs. If you've done this, I'm going to go ahead and click restart on my PC. I'm going to switch my scenes back over. Once my PC restarts, then we'll get back into LSP before we'll go into the game and I'll show you how everything works. And I think my wife just texted me too. Hope you guys are enjoying these tutorials, man. Um, by the time I get done showing you guys how to install these mods, you're going to have a realistic LSPFR. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to install um, visual, probably Visual V and Reshade because it's a great combination of graphic mods. Yeah, Visual V and Reshade is a great combination of, of graphic mods. It's a really nice combination. What's up, Panzer Wagon? How you doing, man? How's it, how's it going, man? All right, let's... Uh, my PC restarted here. Let me let everything fire back up. Just letting everything turn back on. You know, you got, you got your startup menus that take place. Thank you, Comical Gamer. Just got your DM, brother. Just seen your DM. Let me check that out real quick. Is this a texture pack, man? We're going to switch back over. Is this a texture pack? Oh, yeah, it's liveries. So, do they have a recommended car pack for it somewhere? They do not. Yeah, definitely liveries. Um, so, it's for... It's for an FPIU. Yeah, that's a nice livery, bro. It's not too much. It's not too little. It's, um... I dig delivery. I really dig delivery. You know what vehicle this is for, man? Like what? 
Ethan plays GT5. Why does that name sound familiar? Why does that name, why does Ethan play his GT5? Sounds, What's up, Officer Harrell's up in the house. Another channel sponsor right there. What up, Officer Harrell? Why does that name sound so familiar? That's a nice livery, man. Cheese, uh, is it pronounced uh, Chesapeake? P-D-F-P-I-U? Oh, yeah, the AIs. Yeah, dude, they're nerve-wracking, bro. They're so nerve-wracking, man. They are super nerve-wracking, the AIs. <laughs> man, they get on my nerves. Oh, my God, because... You'll be in the middle of a good pursuit or a good scene, and the AIs, man, you can always leave the AIs to mess it up for you every single time, dude. Um, I always stay in offline mode, guys, because it's uh, so I don't get notifications. Like, I don't mind seeing when people are, like, you know, getting on LSPFR, GT5, or stuff like that, but, like, it just gets to be too much sometimes. And I have so many friends on Steam that it's just constant notifications. I had to turn them off. Vex, you absolutely can. Yeah, my DMs are open, man. You can you can just... What's up, Speedy? Speedy, I announced that you were in here. Did I not? Speedy is also a channel sponsor. Cannon Gurney, what is going on, man? You are... You are new. Welcome last year, man. Good to have you, man. What's up, Cannon? Uh, Connor, I'm sorry. Connor Gurney. I'm sorry. What did I say, Cannon? Did I... Okay, I'm, I'm, I want to make sure I said your name, man. Connor, what's going on, man? Good to see you, bro. Yeah, always make sure that your um, all of your antivirus is off, guys. Firewall network protection, virus and threat protection. Make sure it's always turned off. Always. All right, let me get my controller on here and make sure it's set right. Okay, it is. Oh, uh, I also meant to tell you guys, I think I told you all a while ago, but I got a DM from one of the Leos in SRP, and I got Leo, guys. I made Leo. I'll be starting out as a community service officer, which is CSO, um, so I think, I think if I'm not mistaken, and this is just a guess, it's just a guess, if I'm not mistaken, I'm pretty sure Cookies is over CSO. So I think that Cookies will be my FTO, which would be cool. That would be awesome if Cookies was my FTO. That would be awesome. That would be cool to have Cookies. My, but guys and girls, be prepared that coming up soon, we'll be doing some SRP live streams as CSO. Uh, so just stay tuned in, guys. We'll be doing it. Now, CSOs don't have a lot going on. I think CSOs, they can't make traffic stops. They can't make arrests. Um... However, I do believe they can transport suspects if called to do so, I think. Don't hold me to that, but I think they can do that. I'll have to ask Hash and Cooks because they can... I know Hash was CSO and Cooks was CSO, so I'll have to see what they can... I know they can't make traffic stops and they can't, like... They can't make arrests. Like, I think if you, if, you, if you want to detain somebody, you have to call in. I think you can detain someone, but you can't cuff them. So you can call in for backup, I believe, if you su suspect. I don't know. I'm just taking a wild guess at it. But if Cooks was my FTO, that would be. I'd, I'd be so awesome with that. That'd be great, man. So, ladies and gentlemen, we installed a standalone plugin. Now it may not look like it, but if you go in your main game directory and go to your main game game directory and go to plugins, you will see the EUP menu DLL right there. Okay, and we can close out of this. So I want to click on Rage Plugin Hook and immediately hold down the left shift key. And once this pops up, you're gonna you're gonna go plugins and then click on load these plugins on startup and click check all. Now you should have everything installed that I have installed, right? And then go back and click on load on plugins on startup and then save and launch. And here we go, guys. This is where we always cross our fingers alert. Don't crash, don't crash, don't crash. Just work right this time. Just work right this time. Because everybody knows by now that the nature of the beast of the LSPFR is everybody has, no matter how stable your game is, you're going to have a crash from time to time because that's just, if you get this window, guys, click no. But it always pays off, man, to restart your PC, and that's why right there, see?
So I've got my notes pulled up up here, guys, with all the plug with all the mods we're gonna go over, and we're gonna start with our realistic looking weapons and test out our gun sounds and our rate of fire. Now keep in mind the rate of fire only works on a couple of guns in the game. Okay, maybe th maybe three pistols that I know of, and I'll show you which ones they are. They do work on the Glock, and it works on the um, what is it the um. The dot fifty pistol, I think, is what it's called, and then the um, the other little pistol. I can't remember what the name of it is off the top of my head. Hey, Spider Gaming's up in the house. What's going on, Shane? How you doing, brother? Appreciate you, man. Yo, man, I got um, I got uh, CSO and SRP, Shane. I did my interview last week. They messaged me yesterday or the day before that, and and I got Leo, man. Yes, the pistol 5.0, yeah. And uh, I got uh, I got CSO, man. So I, I'm pretty sure, I was telling everybody, like, I'm pretty sure, because um, I, I think Cookies is over CSO, so I think he'll be my FTO. Thanks, man. I'm really stoked about it. So I'm sure I'll see you out there sometime or another, man. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so as you can see, there's our police lights. They're very bright and beautiful. And if we hop in the car. Alright, and this is normal ELS. I mean, I'm sorry. Normal radiance, right? Stage one, stage two, and stage three. Now, the cool part about having these cars, if you pull up your ELS box by hitting right control P, you can change the patterns of your lights like this. On your traffic advisory, it's going to be I on the keyboard. But make sure your ELS box is up. If it's not up, this won't work. Hit I on the keyboard. That will change your traffic advisory. Now I like mine to be kind of fast. Look, it's kind of going slow. I want mine kind of fast. That works. Then stage two. Uh, this is going to be the U on your keyboard to change those patterns. Like so. And then stage three is going to be the U key again. Let me change the time of day real quick. Just a tad. There we go. And then, again, the, the U key to change those patterns on stage three. Those look pretty good. So. Go inside the car, guys. Hands on the wheel. Very nice computer system. Nice partition here. There's our dash cam. And there's our beautiful police lights, guys and girls. Now, listen to that. All right, Shane, we'll see you in a minute, man. Now, when I take off, guys, listen to that V8 sound. I'm going to be quiet so y'all can hear it. I'm so excited. Now, if I go into first person, you can hear it even better when I take off. Listen to that, guys. Hear that V8 sound? Listen to that, man. All right, guys. Next up. Let's open up our simple trainer and go to weapons. Go to weapons load save menu. And let's go to load all weapons in slot one. All right. Now. This is going to be your gun sounds. That's for your main pistol. And this is your combat pistol. That's the other one. Now, your rate of fire is going to look like this. Right? And then on your main pistol. Now, you can speed the process up 
by moving your trigger finger real quick, okay? Now, if you just hold the trigger down, it's going to go like this. Right? But if I do it faster manually with my finger, you can get a pretty good fire out of it. Now, your AR, and also, guys, there's your Glock. There's your AR. Which sounds like that. And then your shotgun looks like this and sounds like this. So, pretty cool stuff. Now, the other weapons you can use, if you go into weapons, go over to pistols. Oh, Jesus. Jeez. All right, also, if you pull your taser up, you're now going to have a different sound taser. There's a... There's a realistic looking taser, guys, if you fire it. Let's go somewhere a little more peaceful. Let's spawn over to the Sandy Airport, guys. <laughs> Jesus. All right, here we go. All right, now if we go into our symbol trainer, go to weapons. The three pistols that will that will affect the rate of fire is the pistol there, your combat pistol, and your pistol dot fifty right here, right? So if you pull this one out, right, that one also affect that's that one's also affected by the That's a big old pistol right there, man. Um now, um, so you guys heard the weapon sounds. Uh, it also is effective with explosions. So let's grab, let's grab an RPG. And if I shoot this, you're gonna you're gonna notice your explosions are a lot different. They're more realistic. All right. Now, if we hit the F11 on our keyboard, you're probably going to get bait car and EUP at the same time, but I'll show you how to change that. But once you get here, all right, um, you can go in your wardrobe and, or you can go to law and order. This is going to be all your police department. So as we're in Blaine County, so we'll go to Blaine County, uh, patrol operations. This is all your patrol uniforms right here. And whichever one you pick, uh, let's just say we want this one. Okay. And we want to save that outfit. We're going to go back to wardrobe and click create outfit. And we're going to name this Blaine County Sheriff's Office and hit enter. Okay. Now you can, you can uh, customize these however you want, right? So on the hat, I'll go like this. And I'm going to find the uh, sheriff hat. There, there we go right there. And you can change the textures by four and six on your numpad. All right, so we'll keep that one. You can also get glasses. So I'm going to get those. Hey, look at Nick Fulton coming through with a six-month membership team just one. Slap sign. What's up, Nick? How you doing, brother? Gotcha, Nick Fulton up in the house. Thank you for your long-time love and support, man. Appreciate you, brother. Uh, so, again, your glasses, you can pick any glasses you want. Six and four will change the textures. Turn back around, man. All right, so I usually pick the eyeglasses. And then um, here's your earpieces. Watch. Um, if you go down to um, accessories, this is going to be the pistol on your side. Right? I like to change it where it's close to my side. And then undercoat is going to be like where your taser and stuff is. If you hit six, it'll change it to black. Um, armor is going to be where your radio is. Now, if you change this, if you want the, the 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 radio around your back on your chest, you can put it on your chest by hitting this right here to 15, or you can take it all the way to, I think it's 38. And that will bring it around your back. And once you're done, you're going to click save and continue. And you now have your first outfit saved. That is F11 on the keyboard, 
on your controller, if you're using one, it's going to be A, and then you're going to click on your left thumb stick. And that's kind of how EUP works, guys. Um, it's the same thing with serve and rescue. If you go to serve and rescue, there's your LSFD. There's all your fire services, your outfits, and all that good stuff. Um, medical services. If you go back down here, is like your lifeguard, medical service. It's it's all here, guys. Um, there's how I get my parking enforcement right there. There's all my parking enforcement outfits. Now, if I get in something I don't like, or if I just want to change my outfit, I go back to wardrobe, go to that one I created, click on it, puts it right back in that outfit every time. So there's that. We went over all that. Radiance, ew, you guys pretty much seen that. Um, that's a nice car pack, guys. Really, really nice. One item. Go ahead. Dispatch, show me tonight. Copy that. One item seven. Proceed to patrol area. Okay. Dispatch, show me ten six. Attention, all units. We've got a criminal resisting arrest in uh, Sandy Shores. So I'm going to show you guys the uh, police K-9. We're going to do that. Actually, let's do the, the Kiflom replacement first. We got a car right here. We're going to go ahead and initiate a traffic stop. All right, there we go. One item. Hey, Holly, what's going on? How you doing, Holly? You lost your internet speed, did you, man? Sean Scordos, what is going on, man? Um, well, it's, it's actually easier for you to watch my videos, man. I mean, dude, I, I've got, I've got video after video after video after video showing you step for step how to do this, man. It's actually really easy, man, to follow my videos. Like, I can teach a grandma how to install LSPFR. Yes, Michael Sheets, good point. Uh, so your wardrobe can also be used for a customizable downloaded EUP. And I'll take you guys back to the desktop and show you exactly what I mean. I already have my EUP outfit saved in a wardrobe.ini file and another on another hard drive. And when we get back to the desktop, I'm gonna show you guys how to drop that in there and set your wardrobe and save it. Dispatch, you can show me on 1011. I'm gonna be eastbound San Kudo Avenue. Dispatch, can I get a 1028? It's gonna be 02 Victor John H111. Supposed to say Henry, not H. Why did I say H? Target vehicle <laughs> license plate. Zero two Victor John Henry one one one. A traffic violation. Maybe we'll do a little patrol here, guys. Caution. Once we get through all the uh, all the mods, maybe we'll we'll do a little LSP bar patrol. What do you guys think? Roger that. All right. Let me let me reload my weapons because I don't want a rocket launcher on me. That's just unrealistic. <laughs> now we we'll walk up to him and we pull up our stuff to pad. ID, nice and There you go, guys. Much better than Kiflam, right? Oh, does it, Matt? Yeah, internet's weird, man. Dispatch, can I get a 1027 on a Jasmine Roach? DOB 42987. All right, so there's your Kiflom. Let's go ahead and release her. 
We're gonna go ahead and release our. All right, and then up next, I'm gonna show you guys the um, the canine dog. So let's actually spawn the FPIU for this. We'll park this over here. Let's go ahead and pull up our simple trainer. Go to vehicle spawning, emergency, and we're gonna get the police three. We go inside the vehicle, guys. Hands on the wheel. Nice uh, interior right here. Mirrors work, as you can see. Nice partition. There's our dash cam. Now this will not have the V8 sound because it's, it's not a V8. Um, it depends on what slot it's in too, so. Make sure this thing ain't gonna tip over because sometimes these FPIUs like tip over. This one looks like it's gonna be all right. Well, I mean, it's gonna tip over if I hit something to flip it over with, but, but sliding by itself, it's not gonna flip over, so I think it's gonna be good. Anytime I install an FPIU, I always I always test it like this to make sure it's not gonna flip on me. <laughs> what it, what do you mean by that lollipop guy? Like what do you mean by that? Hey, what's up, Lauren Reisiger is up in the house. What up, Lauren? A mega pint. I poured myself a large glass of wine. Smoke weed every day. All right, so, oh yeah, the uh, canine. Let's get our canine. So, to get your canine, you're gonna go to ultimate backup, hit the U, go over to canine partner, and you're just gonna click, you're gonna cl click the shepherd and click spawn canine partner. There's your canine dog right there, guys. Look at him, look how much better he looks. If you want him to get in, you're gonna hit left on the, hold left on D-pad, or T on the keyboard, he's gonna get in the car. There you go, guys. We got our canine. What about that, man? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty, pretty, pretty great. Pretty great. Let's blow this dude off his bike. Um. Okay, so Bass Dragons, Euphoria Ragdoll, and Improved Gore. We'll test both of those out at the same time. We got to get a few volunteers here. Jesus, bro. See if we can't stop these guys right here in time. You are one dumb right piece there. of shit. <laughs> hey man, uh-uh. Uh-uh, bro. Shit. On the ground, dude. LSPD! Enough! Alright. Fuck your dad bleeding body. Hey. Stop! Are you trying to get funny with me? Hold it! Stop. Okay, now we got volunteers. Stay right there. You, come over here. Ah, right, we got some volunteers finally. <laughs> Let me get them up the side of the road here a little bit so you guys can kind of see how this Euphoria Ragdoll works and the improved gore. Let me get him. Turn around, old man. All right, so Euphoria Ragdoll. Let me get this, let me get this truck out of the road. So, Euphoria Ragdoll. Now, when I shoot them, the suspects now, right? When I shoot them, if you notice if I shoot their leg, they'll grab for their leg. See that? Yo, one shot kill, oh, cause I already hit him. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna pop this guy in the shoulder. See that? It's more realistic. See that blood come out too, guys? See that blood? Wises. Ooh, right in the Peter. See that realistic fall, guys? Look at that. 
That's your four-year ragdoll right there. Pretty dope stuff, man. Pretty dope stuff. And improved gore. Now, if I walk up to him, I heard a dog. Okay, that's my dog. If I walk up now, you see the... See that? There, it's more, it's a lot more gorier. Like, it's a lot more gory. Now, this will really show you. Look at that. I don't want to do it too much. It's pretty gruesome. All right, let's dismiss our K9. One Adam. Go ahead. Believe that's all the mods, guys. Believe that's it. Let's do some LSP of our patrol. Dispatch, can you show me tonight. Seven. Proceed to patrol area. Let's get our um, let's get the Dodge Charger though. So if you want Dodge Charger guys, open your simple trainer, go to vehicle spawn emergency and go to police two. That's where you'll find your Dodge Charger. Now we don't have any call outs installed. All we got is the LSP of our vanilla. And we're gonna do some LSP of our patrolling, guys. Citizens John Michael Dupree, what is going on, man? In uh great seat. Dispatch showman route. All right, guys, we got a call to a, um, what was it, a grand theft? Air support, proceeding north. I'm going to show you guys how to install a new siren as well. He's down here somewhere. Dispatch requesting backup. Assistance required on um, Sonora Freeway. Copy. Officer Zimmer. Yeah. He's heading west. Dispatch. I'm in the middle of a pursuit. Dispatch requesting spike strips. Please don't turn, bro. Please don't turn. And be on the right side of the road, please. Yep, they're gonna get him, they're gonna get him. Get him, get him, get him. Spike him. They got him, we got him. Out of the car. Out of the car. Hands up. Hands up. One sec, guys. Don't move. Do not move. End of the road for you, pal. Uh, yeah, that's the one. That's the one. You can use my PayPal card. All right. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? You going to run off my money? <laughs> 
Uh, I don't know. I don't. <laughs> All right, ma'am. Uh, come over this way with me. I I love explore. I love the um, explorers. I don't see them too often, but I love the Dodge Chargers. I'm a, I'm a Dodge Charger guy, big time. All right, stand right there for me. We got to get this thing cleaned up, ladies and gentlemen. Right, let's go ahead and put them right here. And let's search the car. Dispatch, send me a 1051. Ah, shoot. Flatbed, assistance required in Sandy Shores. Hey, man, you can go and get out of here, dude. Dispatch, requesting transport. Shores. All right, that's it for that. And right, there comes the transport. Dispatch, uh, we're going to be code 4. Attention all units, code 4, no additional support needed. What up Mason Hornbeck, how you doing man? Um, that'd be something you'd get my support to hear about man, the Discord link is right there at the pinned comment brother. Dispatch them in route. Yeah, I gotta get my support team on that, man. Um, Discord link is there in the pinned comment at the top. Yep, there's the... Thank you, Matthew. Appreciate that. Dropping the Discord link right there. Dude, where is this, uh, okay. The fuck was that? Come on, man, get out the way, bro. Suspects last reported on foot in Grande Sonora Desert. Move, man. You gotta get out of my way, bro. Dispatch your question back up. Assistance required on uh They're on foot, so they're gonna be right over here. There's one right there. We got eyes on the perp. Suspect is in a car. Over. Dispatch headed uh, southbound US Route 13. Vehicle's gonna be a black van. Just got off the ramp at Sandy Shores, headed well southbound. Roger that. One, Adam, seven. 
We're now making a left onto uh, Sonora Desert. Um, back onto the, the interstate now on Sonora Freeway. 3053 uh, northbound. Jeez. Dispatch is going to be a black van occupied uh, times two. 10 4 1 out of 7. We're continuing uh, northbound US Route 13. 10 4, copy that. We're now going back southbound uh, 3052 US Route 13. 10 4, copy that. Is he just gonna keep going the same way? Ooh. Doing about approximately 40 miles per hour, headed uh, headed westbound US Route 13, uh, passing the prison. Acknowledged, one out of seven. Now, realistically, you can't do this, but we're gonna, well, we'll do it like this. Dispatch requesting spike strips. The vehicle's all over the road. Dispatch, we're continuing southbound US Route 13. Speeds approximately, uh, have slowed down to 30 miles an hour. Backup required on, um, Sonora Freeway. Dispatch requesting spike strip. Copy that, dispatch. We'll find those animals. Right here, dispatch. I'll check it out. They're gonna spike him, they're gonna spike him. They got him, they got him, they got him. Man, don't hit me, bro. Ooh. Dispatch, we got eyes on the Dispatch requesting standby. Fire truck. Assistance required. Oh my god, not a fire truck. Don't move, man. Don't move on the ground. On the ground, man. On the ground. Get on the ground, dude. Get on the ground. Get on the ground, man. He's not going to get on his glitch out. Get on the ground, dude. On the ground. Yeah, he's glitched out. Man, I said get on the ground, dude. I'm on it. Y'all clear them vehicles. See, I think that'd be cool to have a plug-in like that where you command the officers, um, you know, to to clear vehicles and stuff because then, you know, it's left to us. So, I mean, I don't mind doing it, you know what I'm saying? But in real life, other officers would be doing other things. Everybody on the, on the, on the scene would be doing, you know, Dispatch, stop traffic. Attention all units. Officer requesting traffic control near Grande Sonora Desert. I'm going to clear the vehicle here real quick. All right, vehicle's clear. Let's go ahead and search it. Dispatch, send me a 1051. I'm going to be eastbound Interstate 1. You, come over here. Let's go. No, um, well, it makes him kind of like when you're running code three. So clear the way we what it does, lollipop guy, is when you're running code three, cars will kind of move over a little bit more for you. And AI traffic fluidity and discipline also helps that. What's up, Sergeant? How you doing, man? You still use a uh, vocal dispatch, Sergeant? I haven't used vocal dispatch. 
in a long time. I use Grammar Police, just all I use. Sentinel Wolf, what is going on, man? How you doing, brother? Good to see you, man. Welcome to live stream, man. How right, you got anything? Go pump me, stick me, jam me, pretty much stab me. You want a female officer to come out and patch you? All right. No problem. Dispatch requesting female officer. We're going to be at uh, 4002 Interstate 1. Backup needed in Grande Sonora Desert. Now let's go ahead and clear this scene. Dispatch, you can show us code 4. Attention all units. Code 4. No further units required. Oh, did it cancel my backup too? Did it? Oh, crap, dude. I didn't mean to clear the traffic. No, no, no. Dispatch, stop traffic. Attention all units. Officer requesting traffic control near Grande Sonora Desert. Dispatch requesting female officers. Uh, send them to 4002 uh, Grande Sonora Desert, westbound Interstate 1. Backup required. And girl, you ugly as I'll get out. I like Medusa on crack, girl. What's up, Gypsy? What's going on, man? You know what I could do, guys, is I could kill the stream, um, and we could come back in with my regular um, file where I've got all my graphic mods stuff and stuff, my call-outs, and we could play some LSP of if y'all want to. If y'all are down for that, let me know. It would take me like, it would take me like probably 15, 20 minutes to get everything done. Dispatch clear traffic. Let me get my car out of the road. Hey, wait. They gonna send my transport over here, or what are they doing? Did I call for transport yet, or did I? Oh, female officers. That's what I called for. Um, yeah. If you guys are down for that, I'm down for that. My, my dude, don't park your police car right up on mine, man. Alright, guys, let's go for this call, then we'll do that. We'll, we'll, we'll come back in and... Alright, yeah, I'll do that. Dispatch, show me code 4. Hey, right, take her in. Susie, what are you doing? Take her in. All right, guys. So y'all give me like a few minutes. Give me like a few minutes to get my file. And I'm going to show you. Oh, I want to show you guys one more thing before we end the stream. So if you want to switch the keybind on your EUP menu, this is what you do. Go to your main game directory. Go into plugins. And go to, you will now have an EUP folder. If you open that up, you're going to have characters, presets, settings, and wardrobe. Wardrobe, very important. Any outfit you save, like the one we just created, is going to be right here. Okay? Now, settings, we need to open that up. Now, I'm going to change mine, my menu toggle key, from F11 to none. Only because I use my controller for this. If you want to change your menu toggle key for EUP menu to whatever you want, go ahead. Uh, these two down here need to be set to true. So we'll set both of those to... Um, come on, CJ. We'll set both of those to true. Just like that. And then once you're done, you're going to click File and click Save. Now, I'm going to show you guys how I save my wardrobe, right? Because all the outfits I have saved are already saved. And all I got to do is go like this. Let me go into my file explorer, and I believe it's on my, is it on my E drive? Is it on my E drive? 
Um, maybe not. Uh, okay, right here. Okay, so right here it is. So see how I've got my wardrobe right here? I'm going to pull it onto my desktop, and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to close this. Now, inside my main game directory, I'm going to go to Plugins, EUP, and I'm just going to grab this wardrobe. I'm going to drag it in, drop it, and replace the one I already have. And now all of my outfits are in there. All the ones I had before, see there's my there's the ones I created, another one I created, even my bounty hunter outfit is in here. Right there it is, guys. So all the outfits I've created is here. Now once you go to the outfits that you want, you can do you can highlight right uh, wardrobe, right click and click copy. And then just say I'm gonna save this to somewhere. I'm gonna go back to my iDrive, just just for example. Or you can go like this. Go to your desktop, right click and click paste. And right there is your wardrobe. And if you open that up, it's got all the outfits if you that you've created. And anytime you can put this in like a backup file, and to keep from creating those outfits every single time, you just drop that in your EUP folder and you're done. You've got all your outfits back. So, um, reach it on ATS. Does it? Uh, yeah, I've heard it looks really good. All right, guys. So give me about probably. 20 to 25 minutes max and i'll be back up and running with some lsp4 i'll see you guys in just a few minutes i do want to thank everybody tuned in to the live stream tonight uh for the open iv modifications jeffrey we're about to shut down and go live again sub son what's up man jeffrey gamer is up in the house another channel sponsor right there if i can get to my daggum buttons crap channel sponsor right there bum bum a bum bum Yo, that's my boy right there, Jeff Gamer. Everybody in here that's a member, light it up in red. If you are not a member, type in the chat, exclamation point, GG, all caps. What is going on, guys? I want to see it light up in red. I need to drop those emojis, too. I need to drop in logos. What I was saying, though, brother, is we're fixing to shut down, and we're going to actually play some LSPDFR. Um, set up for a stream, and come back in and play some LSPDFR for a little bit. There we go. So yeah, guys. Get, ooh, look at all that red. I love it. I love it. I love it. You guys are amazing. Love it. Look at all the love, man. Love the. I love when they show you love, man. I love it. I really enjoy seeing that red pop up in my chat, man. Um. So yeah, guys. Give me like, what time is it? Seven thirty-seven. So give me like, uh, give me like twenty twenty-five minutes max. I gotta make a thumbnail. Um, set up a new stream, which won't take me long. And I, I might just use an old thumbnail, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to do a stream. Anyway, guys, we'll be back in about probably 15 to 20 minutes, 25 max, playing some LSP for our guys and girls. I will see you all in just a few minutes. Jeffrey, appreciate y'all being here, man. Red is the color of love. It is, man. Hey, man, we'll see you guys back in just a few minutes. Peace.